Hi guys, we are back and it is Monday, so I'm just in the middle of writing my to-do list. I've got six items on there so far. I am a little bit hazy actually. I don't really know what I've got to write down and then what I've got to do today. I'm not going to take my parcels today. I'm actually going to take them tomorrow and basically clump up all the things I need to do in one trip out rather than going out every day or anything like that because it just simply wouldn't be safe, not just for myself but for other people as well if I'm going out and I'm adding to that. So so, um, yeah, I've got a few bits and bobs to do. I've got more admin jobs to do today than anything else. Got to do some labelling as well of my parcels. Got to do a bit of crypto stuff. And also, I've got to uh, just do a little bit, bit of stuff for uni and things like that. And, and just prepping things. And also a little bit on my dream interpretation. So, I've got to... Basically, I keep a file in my... Well, not file, but I keep a little folder in my phone notes. And that's really built up over the last month or so. So, I need to actually transfer that to my dream interpretation document on my computer. So, that's a little job to do in terms of admin stuff. Um, yeah, and I've got other bits and bobs to do, but I just can't think at the moment. I can't write them on my to-do list. I don't know. I'm just a bit hazy and stuff. So, yeah, um, I will see you in a little bit. We'll see where we're up to and we'll see what we can get done. It's been really lovely uh, weather the last few days and today is no exception. It is uh, beautiful today as well. Yeah, so I'm going to get out for a walk prob probably this afternoon down those lovely back country roads. All uh, lovely, quiet, serene, beautiful. Probably find that there's about 50,000 other people down there because everyone's got the same idea, but we'll see anyway. I just can't wait to get out for a nice walk in the sun. So I have got my references over to um, my email now. So these are on my phone notes as well. And what these are, these are for university. And what I do whenever I'm reading a book is, as you can see, uh, these references here on this paragraph are for The Art of War by Sun Tzu. When I'm reading the book, obviously I go through and as I'm reading the pages, um, if there's a quote in there that I like or if there's any little bit of information in there I like, I write it down in my phone notes just as I'm going. And then obviously I export this, which I'm doing now, this is the job I'm doing now, export this, put it in a Word document for my university references. Now it's all well and good, obviously, if you've got a book and referencing the contents page and then going to a certain page in the book by the contents page. But what about all those little quotes that you find on random pages that you'll never remember where they were or anything like that? For example, this one here, page 3, all warfare is based on deception. That's a very powerful quote that you could add to a university piece of work or I could even put in a book in um, you know later work and then obviously it makes it easier for me when I'm actually writing a book and then obviously being able to monetize that book as well by uh, through sales and stuff like that done one on the inner reaches out of space now this one's crazy um, inner reaches out of space and I've got all the references for that as well there when I was reading that book um, and it takes a little bit more time, you know, to do this when you're reading, but it's so good knowing you've got all this information. And then we've got this one here, Jungian Dream Interpretation, one of my more recent books I looked at, and you can see this one is, is, is mental. And so I'm just going to add these to my other references on my other books, or on my other, the other books I've read on my referencing document now. So now I've got to do the same for the New Dreams document, however this one, as you can see, is much longer and um, yeah, I've got to sort through this one a little bit more. Now that other one, it literally took me about five minutes because it's literally a copy and paste job. It's all sorted as it is and then I just copy and paste it into the document. But this one, I've got to actually go through and uh, take some bit bits out because some bits in here aren't on um, for the dream interpretation document that I've got therefore a different uh, psychological document that I've got uh, which is on myself my chosen ego well I say my chosen as if I chose it I didn't choose it but the ego defense mechanism I gravitate to most is intellectualization and if that's not apparent then yeah I, I, I don't know I don't know what is really I mean, it's incredibly apparent that my chosen ego defense mechanism is intellectualization in the fact that I blow up the intellect to massive proportions to actually avoid confronting the real problems of my life, let's say that. Um, so therefore, you just constantly are using intellect as a barrier to actually facing certain problems. But obviously, me being consciously aware of that, I can limit it to some degree, although I'm still terrible at using it, to be honest. So yeah, 
that goes into another document that I've got on myself. So I've got to kind of look through, peel out bits, put them in one document and then put them in the other document and stuff. So yeah, that'll take a little bit. We're currently, what is that, 10.16 or something? I don't know whether you can see that, but it's 10.16. Right then, what shall we say? Shall we do some labelling next? I think labelling's on the agenda. It's 11.21. May as well get that done and dusted and then... Uh, Actually, I can do some editing after that because I need to edit that. Um, you know that GoPro video I did a couple of days ago on, what was it on? Oh, the OBS thing. Um, yeah, I need to edit that. That's something that I definitely need to edit. Oh, what's that? Oh, what are you going? Oh, no, no signal. Oh, bug of that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll do that. And, uh, well, first I'll have to check out what my computer's doing, all them noises and stuff. And then I... No, wait, so I need to do my editing. No, so I need to do my labelling, then my editing. Right, I'll do that. I'll do it that way around. Thought I'd let you know, because people will be annoyed if I don't let them know. That LBC from my Coinonomy wallet, I am transferring to Tron. 3,383 Tron, because I want to buy some Tron. I've not had Tron in ages, and to be honest, I quite like Tron. I think it's quite cool. If you're wondering what thing I'm using to swap the crypto, swap LBC for Tron, I'm using this site called Sw Simple Swap. Been using it for quite a while now. I was a little bit hesitant at first, so I actually just put a small transaction of crypto in rather than obviously sending large amounts. But since then, I've sent quite a lot of crypto through this site and I quite like it. It does take a few minutes to get things sorted. I think the longest time I was waiting was about half an hour to get obviously things processed and swap the crypto and then receive it at the other end. But to be honest, I quite like it because it once you obviously put your receiver address in there and then the amount you want to send and just quickly send it through, you can just wait then. It doesn't matter. I can be doing another job while I'm waiting and then obviously I can check back in, in 10, 20 minutes and then it's uh, sent. So yeah, doing my labeling. Got a really big box here. Oh my God, I'm not even going to pick that box up because I transferred it up the stairs and it's bloody massive. It's heavy as well. Got a lot of books in Disney Wonderful World of Reading Books, if you want to know. Got a little thing there. Oh, that was the thing I was packing up the other day. Got a big jug thing in there that's going out for 30 quid, so that's all right. And then got a Disney um, plush there, one of the seven dwarves. I was going to say gnome. It's not a gnome, it's a dwarf. Uh, one of them. Uh, I want to say Sleepy. I think it's Sleepy. So yeah, I got them four. Is that it? I think there's four going out. Oh, that needs... That needs attaching on better there, doesn't it? Right, that'll do. Um, so yeah, gonna get my scales out here. Gotta get these out, these bad boys. Uh, ultra ship uh, scales, cool ones. Whack them on there. Boom, quick. Whack it on before it goes off. Right. 300 gram, that'll do me. 200 gram, that'll do me. Let's bugger this over here. Bugger you, bugger you. Oh, that's it. Bugger you. Uh, 1,600, eh? That's good, isn't it? And then I'm not gonna pick up that one yet. Well, I can't without, I can't with the camera. It's far too heavy. So I'm gonna do that one. Whack them on the old Hermes, Hermes, Hermes. The messenger of the gods, that's why they're called Hermes, because they think that being called after a Greek god will make them really, really suitable for delivering things. I mean, you can't really floor that logic, can you? So, I've just done my labelling, it's all downstairs now, and I just recorded a video on kind of what I'm doing with my eBay store in the current situation, things like that. I really, I suppose I just wanted to get things out, I wanted to get things off my chest, I wanted to, I wanted people to know what I'm doing kind of a little bit of my thoughts on uh, the situation as a whole and things like that and also a little bit on I suppose the economic side of it a little bit I, I touched up on that but yeah I wanted to do that I just I really just felt as I say I just wanted to get it out it was a weird feeling but yeah so I've done that uh, it's now lunchtime, it's quarter past twelve. I have actually got to record another video really today, although saying that, since I recorded that one, I could probably leave the sales update till tomorrow, but I do need to do a sales update, I need to record that. So yeah, I've just ticked labelling off my list. Uh, actually, I need to check if that crypto's come through, and then I need to do some editing after lunch. I might actually edit that video that I've literally just done there, so yeah.
Doing okay today, got quite a bit done, and yeah, still got quite a bit to do actually. So, I've just had my lunch, and uh, I am going to get on and edit that video. I couldn't fa actually find my memory card reader before, but I've found it now, so all is good. So yeah, I will get on and do that little bit of editing, and then see where we're at. Actually, you know what, I've not checked in on that transaction to see if that uh, Tron went through, so I need to do that as well this afternoon. Right, so I uh, have just edited a video, in fact, I need to edit another one really i've not edited that obs one i edited that one i did over there earlier on so yeah I, I keep forgetting what i've got to do next oh yeah i wanted to watch a lecture actually yeah so I'll possibly watch uh, some sort of lecture or something on youtube and then while i'm doing that obviously write down notes from it or not write down notes but type notes from it and then obviously i'm put that in my references document that you saw earlier on so it goes towards um helping obviously when i get to university and also being that it's the 20 21st century it's probably all right to put that those lectures in books as references although i'm still not 100 percent sure about the whole putting youtube videos as references as valid references in books still not 100 percent sure on it. i have seen it in a few books that i've read people have done it but i don't know i just feel for some reason I don't feel it's as valid as referencing a book but maybe that's just my own personal conception of it or per perception of it so therefore it's probably all right to do it isn't it so long as the lecture is from someone of fairly decent stature and of of good note in an academic circle or an academic world so yeah I'll probably be all right so yeah that's what i'm doing i'll probably do that in a little bit but i've got to go i'm gonna go for a walk actually soon it's quarter to three yo dude so we have got a parcel to open it's just arrived i know what it is but you guys don't know what it is so i thought i'd open it on camera you know do one of those post box opening things even though it isn't really a post box i don't actually have a po box and have you seen the price of those seriously they're about 120 quid a year or something or 200 quid a year it's crazy anyway um we could do this though we could do the whole um, package opening thing in future vlogs if you want to if you want to do it drop it down below I could buy some random stuff online that I don't have any use for and that I don't really need open them on here I don't know anyway let's uh, let's get this open exciting times hey I love this look at that I love that parcel it's a lovely little brown bag it's, uh, it's lovely it's reminiscent of those American uh, fr food bags, you know, that we get the food in. I don't know, is that still a thing? If there's any Americans watching, whack it down below. Um, I just assume that is because that's what you see in the movies. It's probably not, is it? You probably use different things than that, but... It's like Christmas, it's like Christmas. So I bought this because it was um, 10 quid off and I thought, oh, that's right up my street, that is it. It really isn't, but, you know, I thought I'd try, try something new. Um, so it's this, I don't know if you can see that, something more the brand is called. And I don't really get branded stuff, I'm not really into it, he says, with his Ralph Lauren sweater on. Sweater? Jumper? I don't even know what it's called. Um, but I'm not really into brands, I don't really care for a lot of brands. The only brands I like are Quorn, Ralph Lauren, and one, that, one other one that I forget. Quorn, Ralph Lauren, and Innocent, that's it. Quorn, Ralph Lauren, Innocent. They're the only brands I care for. But I thought I'd pick it up, so we should uh, whack this on, shouldn't we? Oh, it feels good, actually. I mean, it's not amazing, amazing quality, but, it, you know, it's got some quality to it. Yeah, it's quite nice, that. I quite like that. I like the brand name, because there is some quality gone into that stitching, definitely. But let's have a look at this. Anyway, it's, I, I know I've not really got the right thing to be wearing on it, you know. You know, with this underneath. Ah, it's not too bad, but it's, mm, it's not the best thing. But yes, I like that. I love that. So uh, we'll wear that for the rest of the day now. So I just uh, sold my Tron. That Tron that went over. That LBC that I sold for Tron before. I've now sold it for Win And getting seven Tron. No, well, basically eight Tron uh, in 12 hours from that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start investing in Win again, and we will uh, see what goes on there. I've got what is that? Five hundred twenty thousand Win, which is equivalent to the three thousand three hundred three thousand four hundred Tron that I had. Um, so yeah, we'll see what goes on with this. But just been doing a bit of that. I actually need to go back onto my coin tracker now to update the blooming transactions. I hate the fact that I have to do blooming work with blooming. Oh. Ooh. Anyway, anyway, yeah, so I've got to do that. Yeah, it's been a slow one today. I did a bit of crypto stuff there, then I did my labeling, 
copied my dreams and my, um, that sounds really weird, don't it, copied my dreams, sounds like I'm downloading them from my brain, but I copied my dreams and the references document over to my computer, I did actually, I should write down here, um, uh, buy, bought Tron, well it should really be buy Tron, but buy TRX, did that bugger, so that can be ticked off, pretty sure I did something else but I forgot, oh I recorded that video, Recorded, uh, oh, I'll just put recorded video, it doesn't matter what the topic was. Recorded video, I did that, I think maybe that was about it. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to put, I need to write walk down, even though I don't really usually write it on my list, but I have been doing recently, for the purposes of the vlog. Yeah, that's about it. That isn't really an item to put on the list, is it? God, it's a very poor day today. So I have just been for my walk. It's a really lovely day out there. You probably can't see it very well. Oh yeah, kind of. Um, but yeah, it's a really lovely day out there. And uh, I'm glad I got out in the uh, good weather for once. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do some editing now, I think. I've already edited one video today, but I kind of feel like I want to edit another one. I've got two or four, well, including this one, I've got three videos to edit, so... May as well do that. And, uh, and then I suppose I will leave it there for this vlog. It is half four. So after I've done my editing. Maybe got one other item ticked off the list I suppose. I will then uh, wrap it up. So it is uh, now half five. Just gone half five actually. And I have just finished editing that GoPro video. Sorry that OBS uh, tutorial video. But that I actually recorded with my GoPro. So I recorded the screen manually with my GoPro. As you may have saw. Or well, kind of saw in the vlog. But I wasn't too confident of how it would come out but I kind of had to do that because I couldn't record with OBS. There was or there is becoming apparent to me now a third option of downloading another uh, screen recording software and then do it that way but that would have took so long and stuff so I'm possibly thinking now maybe I regret my decision to actually record it on the GoPro maybe I should have just taken the extra effort to download a new a separate kind of screen recording software so I could do it that way because the quality that's come out isn't brilliant because obviously I'm recording the screen manually this way rather than actually recording it directly from a screen recording software and uh, so you know it's just gonna have to do anyway I've edited it now I've spent maybe 45 minutes or so maybe an hour editing it so far but go it it'll do yes yeah, suppose I'll grab some tea now because you know what, for the last 30 minutes, my stomach has been just... You know when you get them stomach pains because you've not eaten? Well, maybe not many people do because I subject myself to not eating all the time because I do probably too much work every now and then. Or I just kind of drag out the work and forget about food. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I get stomach pains. I mean, I'm like, and I'm, I'm pretty skinny, so obviously that only that doesn't help that only adds to the kind of the pains and stuff i would imagine anyway i'd imagine if i was larger the pains wouldn't be as bad for a certain period and then they'd get really bad but yeah so uh yeah so i need to go down and get some food because i'm starving hungry so yeah i'll see you in the next segment anyway right i am gonna do my steps now it has been not the most productive day i've edited a couple of videos i've done my labeling i'm just, just trying to look down i've done a fair bit of crypto stuff actually today there's been a fair bit of stuff uh, that i've been doing with crypto but since i'm around my house a little bit more i kind of want to get back into crypto a bit more than i have been doing and uh, i mean to be honest the last few days there have been a few different developments with a few different things in crypto anyway but I kind of wanted to give a little bit more attention just with things uh, that are going on in the crypto space right now. But yeah, so that, I, I think I am going to pay a little bit more attention to that since, as I say, I'm not necessarily self-isolating, but I am being in a lot more. And so, yeah, that it's going to be interesting over the next few days to see some developments with crypto and to start up a few uh, new little kind of projects with that as well. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, so I've done a bit of that. I did a bit of weeding as well. I recorded the video. I went for a walk. A few other bits and bobs, you know. I checked in on my eBay account very briefly. I don't I don't think I shared that on the vlog or anything, but I checked in there very briefly. Um, and yeah, but it, not, not an incredibly productive day. But I want to be honest. I want to be open in these vlogs. And if I've not really had a very productive day, 
I will just share it. And if I have had a very, very productive day, like I did on, was it Friday or Saturday? One of the days, maybe Saturday, wasn't it? Um, then obviously you'll see that on the vlog as well. So that being said, I may as well leave it there and um, hope you enjoyed today's video and I will be back very soon with another one. So see you very soon, guys.